Hi guys, it's Alina. For today's video, I want to take you through my day because I'm going on a super cute date and I want to share with you my thoughts on dating as well while getting ready. If you don't recognize where I'm filming right now, I'm actually in my sister's brand new apartment she hasn't moved into and I've just been isolating here, resting up and recharging. So I'm currently in my sister's apartment. She is just about to move into this one. She's currently in her old one. So I've been using up this wonderful space. There's absolutely no furniture in here. So this is where I've been sleeping. So there are like two couch cushions, a comforter and a pillow. Today is a really exciting day and I wanted to take you through the day with me. I have a date today. I started actively dating about a year ago, literally when everything was in lockdown, so probably not the best time to start dating, but I feel like I just wasn't really emotionally available. I didn't know what I wanted in a relationship. I didn't know myself enough to get into a relationship, so I took a lot of me time to kind of like grow and just be single. And now I'm actually starting to go on dates. A lot of trial and error though with online dating. A lot of trial and error with dating in general. And man, I have never experienced anything like dating before. I'm actually really excited because this person seems like so cool, so funny, <laughs> and we love a funny guy. We love, you know, like I feel like that's one of the things that I look for in my first ever relationship, like having a good sense of self, not taking life too seriously, being open-minded, all of these like very important characteristics and qualities. But before we start getting ready for the date, I actually have class in like a few minutes. I have to leave. I gotta get my things ready for class. Really want to make a latte just to get my day started. And then we're gonna come back here and get ready to go on this date. I just got back from class. Um, I also went to go see my brother at my old house, the haunted house. <laughs> I call it the haunted house because my house is probably haunted. That house is probably haunted for sure. I'm back at my sister's apartment. I have so much to do today, you guys, because ever since coming back from my little adventures, if you have not watched my current vlogs, I went to New York City and met up with a new friend with also like a newish friend that I met on Bumble BFF and also going to Tampa, Florida and just chilling there. I'm gonna have those vlogs down below. I have so much to do since coming back because I basically skipped a few days of school to make friends and chill. I'm going to make some brunch right now and then I'm going to do a little bit of work on the computer before we get some intense get ready with me going and rolling. I also have a Zoom meeting soon for a sponsorship that is going through. Let's get it started, baby. pancake ended up looking like but I thought it's funny so I'd show you anyway <laughs> it doesn't look it but it tastes really good like some things that just don't look good sometimes can literally taste the best I got so 
so much work done. I mean, I still have a lot of work to do, but I got more work done than I thought I would get done. I'm taking it day by day. It's slowly dwindling, but every day there's always something new. Like I have so much freaking homework do oh my gosh so i'm trying to catch up on everything but i do have a date in literally two hours this get ready with me is going to be intense but you know i gotta get my responsibilities out of the way before i can prioritize dating even though dating is kind of a huge priority for me because i feel like it is time for me to get out there spread my wings get that experience when it comes to relationships because sis has never been in a relationship before i have never literally been in a relationship ever in my life it feels nice to finally put myself out there because finally i think i'm ready like for the first time ever in my life i feel like i'm ready to get into a relationship getting into a relationship doesn't mean getting into a relationship with anybody it means getting into a relationship with the right person for me but man dating can be really brutal because you're literally merging two whole lives, two whole perspectives together. It's fun to see what works out and what doesn't. It's fun to continuously grow your knowledge and understanding of what dating means to you, what relationship means to you, the things that you like and dislike about relationships. So I'm super excited for today's freaking date. So right now I'm using this Super Sika Daily Quick Mask from Medicube. They actually sent this to me, it's not sponsored, but literally I've been using this every single day. I actually really like the way that it makes my skin feel, especially when this is cold. I don't know why, it just feels so, it just feels so much better when it's cold. And then I'm using the Ionique Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum afterwards, and then the Ionique Black Snail Restore Cream. These two are very, very hydrating. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask for the lips. I was having some deep thoughts in the shower. I was just feeling so extremely grateful for the people that I currently have in my life. I feel like right now my life is so vibrant. It is so full. I knew in my heart something about 2022 was going to be so extremely good. Manifestation, law of attraction, all of that. It just feels so, so incredibly real. Like I know I'm talking with a mask and like my towel and I literally just got out of the freaking shower, but like I'm ready to freaking go on my date right now i just get so pumped with like experiencing new things every single time i go on a date i learn something new about myself i learn something new about what i want in a relationship i think a lot of people get into relationships not knowing what they want not knowing enough of who they are and what their needs are and if they can be met in the relationship this is the year that i realized how much patience and how much effort it takes to actually build a relationship so that's my rant Okay, I'm getting ready right now. This lighting is just like, <laughs> it's like, it's like accentuating like my dark circles right now. Like it's like the shadow, like the lighting is just not cute. But anyway, today I'm gonna be using a good foundation. And when you use the good foundation, you know it's gonna be an important date. Ignore how dirty my palette is. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. I feel really tired ever since I got back from my vacation. I feel like I haven't had any me time in, in so long. Like to function at my optimal extent, I need a lot of me time. Okay, so I just bought this dress from Urban Outfitters and I was thinking of actually wearing this dress. Like there's something that I love about this dress but also dislike it so strongly at the same time. I'm just, I'm not, I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know if I want to wear this. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you. Like, it's super cute, but I don't know. It's just not giving first date energy. So I'm going to show you guys option number two, which I think is the one I'm going to go for. But let's try it anyway, because I actually have not tried it. Okay, so this is the second outfit. And I'm a little concerned here, right? So... Um, oh, excuse me, zipper duty. I'm a little afraid that this is sending the wrong message. Like this top might be sending 
the wrong message, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna go for the sweater over it, okay? So if I'm in the mood to, then I will, but if I just wanna just do this the whole time, then I can, like it's casual. I mean, it doesn't smell the best, I don't know. But at this point, I don't care. I feel like really comfortable with him for some reason. So, I'm gonna try and attempt to do my hair. It is still kind of like damp at this point, but we're gonna have to, we're really gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do my hair. Cause guys, hair is very important. I feel like hair, hair can make or break an outfit. So we gotta work on the hair. I'm thinking of doing my go-to hairstyle, which are the two braids right in front. And then I'm just gonna crimp my hair a little bit. I actually just start braiding very loosely. And then it gets tighter as I go, securing it with an elastic. This hairstyle actually takes me under 10 minutes at this point because I've been doing it for so long that it's kind of just like muscle memory. I'm gonna take this off because it is super hot. <laughs> I just put it on like the highest heat and I just begin crimping it. I don't hold it in for too long because I don't want it to be extremely wavy. Do you see why this is my go-to hairstyle? Because it's so easy to do. It gives my hair a lot of volume. I'll try and have it linked down below because, like guys, my hair is already done. Like that took under 10 minutes. I have some brown Converse on and that's the outfit. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but I actually feel super comfortable in it. The best outfit for a date is the one that you feel the most com- is the one that you feel the most confident in and I really do feel confident, I feel comfortable. First dates are already generally very uncomfortable and wearing something uncomfortable will add to the whole discomfort of the whole thing. Thanks so much for getting ready for my date with me. It makes me less nervous that you're here. I will keep you guys updated on how the date goes at the very end of this video. I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. Bye!